My horse's name is Flower Hill Harvey, and I bought him in 2013. During that summer, he started having some squintiness in his left eye, um, watery eye. And then one evening, I, was get, I had ridden and I was getting ready to turn it out, and I looked up and his entire left eye was white. And of course, I panicked and you know, said, Julie, Julie, come look at his eye. And then she looked at it and said, oh my goodness, and immediately called our vet. The first time our vet came in response to a call about Harvey having a squinty and watery eye, of course, he checked it first to see if it had a scratch. Then he looked to see if there was something in it, looked in the back and saw that it was a little cloudy. And he said, this could be a number of things, but I'm thinking that it could be uveitis. I had only had Harvey a few months at that point, and we didn't know a lot about his history. So we don't know how long he may have been having symptoms that might have gone unnoticed. Then he had a second flare-up early in the fall of that year. We went ahead and tested him for leptospirosis, and that came back positive. And so at that point, we took him to the ophthalmologist, and she confirmed that he did have uveitis, and he was put on um, various ointments and medications, um, and it involved sticking our finger in his eye twice a day to put the ointment in, which we didn't like and he didn't like. He was a little depressed because he wasn't getting to go out and do things. You know, he was in pain. We did everything we could to, to keep the pain out of his eye, but you know, when, his, when he was squinting so much that he could hardly open his eye, you knew it hurt. There were so many vet calls, vet call, vet call, vet call. It seemed like Harvey's flare-ups always occurred when some season was just getting started, hunting season or trail riding season. And so there were some weeks that I, you know, didn't ride or couldn't ride. It definitely affects your relationship with your horse. It was frightening and, and concerning. And I did have the fear that he was gonna go blind, that there wasn't anything that we could do. And then I would have a blind horse we feel like if we hadn't bought Harvey and really followed up on all of this, he'd probably be blind at this point.